Hi, I'm Leo, and in the past 12 months I've been working on a tool that will make it easier for you as a musician to manage and control your Ableton setlist. I call it Ableset, and Ableset allows you to create a setlist based on your Ableton session and, uh, for example, trigger specific songs while you're on stage or just get an overview of your song list. And I'd like to give you a quick demo on how this works. So let's jump into Ableton. I have a simple Ableton session set up here. So this contains um, an intro track. We have three normal songs and then we have an outro. And I've marked every song with a marker just to know where they start and where they end. I've also added some tempo automation and a click track and some backing tracks here. Now I have Ableton running in the background here in the menu bar. And when I open this up, you can see that Ableset already recognizes the markers and just creates a setlist for you. You can also see that I've added some comments for the markers, which contain, for example, the key the song is in or uh, which capo you want to use. Ableset takes this information and displays it in a list for you, so you can easily um, yeah, just trigger songs, uh, jump between them and see where you're currently at. You also have some playback controls on the bottom. And uh, that's the simplest setup. So without any additional work, you have a simple way of setting up your set list and uh, using Ableset. Now, if you want to take this a step further and for example, divide our songs into uh, different sections, we can do that as well. So um, I can just add some sections here, like for example, a verse. And I will prepend them with the greater than sign. So let me just add some more. And Ableset will now automatically recognize those markers as sections of your song, so you can expand the song and, for example, trigger the chorus or the second verse if you like to. Uh, what you can also see is that Ableset marks the section in your playback bar, so you can easily see where you're currently at uh, yeah, inside of a section. One of the greatest features of Ableset is the ability for you to just reorder songs in your setlist without needing to go into your Ableton session, uh, selecting the song, copying it over, maybe missing some automation curves or something. Um, you don't need to do that anymore. You can just go ahead, uh, tap the little edit button and then, for example, move the songs around as you wish. So I've changed the order now. I'm just going to save that. And now um, let's just play the end of the intro we will see that the cursor jumps to uh, roads in this case. And after roads, uh, let's jump to the end here as well. Uh, it will jump to end of the year uh, and so on. You can also exclude songs uh, from the set list. So if you don't want to play them on a given evening or night, uh, you can just take them out and they will just get skipped. And this is a huge time saver, I think, especially if you need to change the set list for every evening, for example. It's super easy to just go in there, rearrange uh, the tracks and uh, you're good to go. Another feature I miss in Ableton is the ability to set specific markers where the playback will just stop. Um, so, for example, at the end of a song. So I've added that feature in Ableset as well. So let's say after end of the year, after this song, we would like the playback to stop. We have two ways of doing that. So the first would be to just add a dot to the following marker. This will tell Ableset that uh, playback should stop after this song. So let's just go ahead and play this. And you can see that the playback just automatically stops. Another way to do this is to add a separate marker, which I will just call stop. So you can do that, for example, if you like to leave some gaps between your tracks. Um, and it works exactly the same way. So we reach the marker and playback stops. Ableset will also tell you that there is a stop marker at the end of the song by adding a little gap in here. So you know that the playback will stop after the song. I have two more things that I'd like to show you. Uh, one of those is the performance view. And the performance view is basically a very minimalistic overview of uh, the current state of your live set. You can put this on a tablet, for example, on stage or uh, on a computer monitor, uh, and it will just tell you the most important information. So the current song, the current song information, uh, the tempo, uh, the part you're currently in, and uh, the next song that follows after that. You also have some basic controls over the songs. So for example, you can skip between songs uh, in your set. Uh, you can uh, start or pause playback. And that's basically it. Super minimalistic, but I think it's a great way of knowing where you currently are in the set. 
And the last feature is a Max for Life device that ships with Ableset as well, that allows you to map specific commands uh, from Ableset to your MIDI controller of choice. Uh, so for example, you could map uh, the functionality to jump between songs to your MIDI controller or to control playback. So yeah, that's Ableset. If there's anything you'd like to know or anything you'd like to tell me, uh, please please reach out to me on Twitter, on my website, via email, uh, however you like. And um, that's it. I wish you a great day. <laughs>